Hello everyone. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, Obsidian Block ID. So Block ID is a very useful technique in Obsidian because it allows you to target a specific block instead of the whole page. So after you target a block, then you can use internal links to link to a specific block. So the Obsidian Publish has, um, has some documentation about it. For example, you can create a block by having this up arrow in the in the end of the text and then you can link to this block in another page and then you can also give specific names to this block specific id to this block basically you can target every piece or every part of the page using this block id and today i want to showcase some very useful techniques to style your pages using block id so I make a page called the blog ID and then I made a very simple command board you can see here. Basically, uh, you can style different um, columns and then you can style uh, the title and then you can also style the list, um, the task item title and the description. So how it works is that basically you all the markdown is just this. It's basically just a list item. And then you have the title, you have the list item, and then you have the descriptions. And then I give the Kanban block ID to the whole Kanban and give the backlog to only this list item. So doing this allowed me to add the block ID to only to, to the whole Kanban and only to that column. I will show you how I will show you why. If you open the development tool. You can see that the data block ID is tagged as Kanban and then in different list item, I also have this backlog so that in other, in other pages, I can reference the whole Kanban or reference only one column using Obsidian internal mechanism. There is no JavaScript, no, it's just super easy. There's no uh, additional uh, thing that you need to do. And then I can also use some attributes i can also add some attributes to the blocks based on the block id for example i add the i add the class name kanban to to the data block kanban and then i also add the text gray which is a tailwind class names to the backlog i add the tailwind gray 500 to the to do i can make it within two minutes it's super easy and it is pure css it's just pure css you can scroll when the list is too long and then it should be mobile friendly as well right this is a very useful technique and i want to showcase this to you and i also want to through this demo showcase how powerful my obsidian publishes and i hope you enjoy this video see you next time bye